I'm Dave Haywood, and I'm here to talk about a big project everyone here at Psyonix has been working on with Square Enix. The game is called Nazgoth. The world of Nazgoth is dark and brutal. It's a fantasy world that's been ravaged by a war between humans and vampires. In Nazgoth, we've taken the ruthless war between these two sides and built an online multiplayer game around it, focusing on the distinctive ways both races fight against each other. Melee versus range is tough to pull off in multiplayer, and hitting that balance has been our focus since day one. Each side plays really differently, and that's what makes the experience unique and fun. We wanted to create two different sides with totally distinct play styles. The humans have an arsenal of deadly weapons and hunting gear like explosive traps and bombs. The vampires can climb buildings and leap between rooftops, drop down on humans, and tear them apart. Each race has some really interesting classes with a lot of customization options. My favorite human class has a grenade launcher and a flamethrower, but sometimes I'll swap those out for the ability to heal my teammates. My favorite character class is a winged vampire that can actually fly. So you literally soar around the level, snatch humans up in the air, and then drop them back down to their death. From the start, we wanted to create a really deep multiplayer experience that relies on strategy, communication, and teamwork. Working with your teammates means you'll do way, way better. If you stray too far from your group, you open yourself up to all sorts of problems. We're very happy to have Sonix on board with this project. They have a, a lot of experience in innovative multiplayer gameplay, and I think they're building a game that's truly different from anything else that I've played before. We're obviously making a different type of game than usual for Nexus K, and we really hope players will be able to appreciate experiencing this world from a different perspective. The world of Nazgoth is a broken land with thousands of years of history that has been at the core of the Legacy of Cain series, and we feel really privileged to be able to bring it back to life. And now, for the first time, players will take an active part in this war as both humans and vampires. The vampires in Nazgoth are a separate race with their own cities and society, but they're an aggressive, brutal race where killing humans is necessary to their survival. Humans rely on their weapons, but vampires are weapons. They're faster, stronger, and absolutely lethal up close. This isn't a fight of good versus evil. There are no heroes in Nazgoth, and the humans are just as vicious and deadly as the vampires. They can slaughter any vampire before they even get close. The game's set in the era of Nosgoth's history that's never been explored before. It takes place after the events that kick off the original Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver, during a war between humans and vampires that comes to shape the world's destiny. On top of the core multiplayer experience, you can also participate in the larger war for Nosgoth. You'll be able to ally with humans or vampires and directly impact the outcome of the war and the future of this era in Nosgoth's history. The ability for us to break down the barrier between developer and player was a strong motivation to go free to play. We expect to have a lot of interaction with our community and look forward to expanding Nazgoth with the help of your feedback. Our closed beta opens soon and we're super excited to start getting players in the game. There's so much more we want to talk about and we're planning to post frequent updates on nosgoth.com that will reveal more about our plans for the game. We hope you like what we've been working on and look forward to hearing from you. Sign up now for the closed beta and come see for yourself.